roughly around 8.30 already. We started at 7. We're ending at 3. It's a long day of fishing, so um, we feel pretty good right now. we got a good size. we got a two-pounder in, we think, um, and our number should be pretty good. So we're just going to be chasing these schools right now and seeing what we can do. we got a bluebird day. Water temperature is roughly around 48. And, uh, That's right, folks. This is the first tournament of the season, and me and Wade are getting our feet wet, so to speak, and uh, we're having a great time chasing these fish around the lake. So we've got roughly around 15 teams in this event. It's a two-day event, which makes it, I guess, called a super uh, event, and uh, we're excited about it. So uh, stick, stick around, get something to drink, relax, please subscribe. We're going to put some slabs in the boat, and you're going to get the, we're going to walk you right through two days of tournament fishing. There you go, folks. Good, solid fish right there. Now we didn't start chasing schools right off the bat. We actually fished about two points before we got out to the schools. We just realized really quick that they weren't on the points and that they were still out there schooling. And uh, there were quite a few boats out there on the first day, so we had a lot of company, And uh, but we were having some success here. By about 8.30, we already had our seven fish and we continued to pick them up throughout the day, but the bite definitely cooled off after about noon. It's a beautiful day. It's tournament day. This is a two-day tournament, folks. With a redhead. That's what's been hot just lately. But we're finding out today it needs to be a its head, a really small head. I even got a little leader. I'm using Big T's advice of everything, including my line. So that's a pound tied on to a six-pound high vis line. Thank you, Big T. We got it's basically uh, it's noon, uh, so we got three hours left to fish. We've got some really good fish in the boat. Feel good about it. Um, our upgrade number right now is a pound 1.3, so that's what we need to upgrade on right now. It's all good though. I mean, we've caught some really good dandies. I mean, I, I really put our number pretty decent. It'll be interesting to see what everybody else catches today, uh, but I feel good about the first day for sure. Me and Wade love Oreos when we fish. You eat Oreos? Makes a good day. Put a smile on your face.
All right, we just got done and uh, we think we did pretty good. We think we're probably between 10 and 11 pounds, somewhere around there, um, which I think is gonna be good today. Fishing wasn't that easy. What do you think, Wes? Our weight. Definitely wasn't easy at all. Uh, weather was nice, I'll tell you that. It definitely was nice. But to get 10, 10 11 pounds out here is pretty tough. Yeah, it was a tough day today, so we feel pretty good. We think we got a really good fish for big fish. We're excited about that. Let me show you him right here. Yeah, so we've taken some pictures. We're gonna go do the weigh-in. I'll probably plan on doing a little something there too to tell you how we ended up for the first day. This is a two-day event. So, you know, we did what we normally do on guide trips, which is just basically started shallow then started chasing schools. And again, we had a lot more success chasing schools than we did fishing shallow. And uh, I don't know if that was just the big temperature change that we've had here recently or what, but regardless, bluebird day, it's not a perfect day to go fishing, let me tell you. Weather-wise, it's nice, but so we'll see you over there. All right, so this is where we're standing. We, we are in second place. Uh, we got a team in front of us that's a pound ahead of us, which is pretty impressive. I am not gonna lie. They, I guess they went after the whites and uh, so that's cool. And we're actually in second place on big fish too, which of course there's not really a second place in big fish. No. So, uh, but by uh, two tenths of an ounce. Yeah, two tenths of an ounce. Yeah, which is water weight. I Regardless, think, we're- it's, it's a two day tournament though. I mean, you, get, you gotta repeat yourself. You gotta- Yeah, you gotta do it again. You gotta do it again. So uh, yeah, our fish, our big fish weighed 253 and the leader is 255. Our total weight was 11 pounds and was it 53 or something? 11 and a half, something. It's 11 and a half, I think, is what it was, and they had 12 and a half. So that's an impressive number. On a day like today, there was a lot of. So obviously one of the first things you're going to notice during these tournament videos is that we don't talk as much to the video. I mean, we're focused. It's uh, it's 110%, 100% of the time. That's kind of our motto this year. And uh, we take it very seriously. So you're not going to hear a lot of any type of tutorial during these tournament videos. You certainly will during the pre-fish, but um, from time to time, I definitely will talk. Got another good fish coming in right here. championship day we're in second place need to make up a pound we're doing pretty good it was a really slow start we didn't turn the camera on until uh, after we had basically seven fish because it's kind of intense when you don't have seven fish but we're going good now weight's good Let's see we, we definitely need one really big fish I think that's our uh, that's our only thing right now we need one we need a two pounder we've got one that's close but we really need, uh, it'd be nice to have, it'd be nice to have two. I think to make up a pound, we're gonna have to have two. We got a lot of time. It's still probably roughly 9 a.m. We fish till three, so six hours. Another thing that's going on is our schools have really, the, the, the size of the schools have gotten smaller. So we're targeting more of the four, five fish schools. I mean, essentially that's what's available anyway but this, the fish are definitely bigger in these schools we're having to catch less fish but the quality is good in regards to weather today's quite different well directions to correct are the same as yesterday a south wind but we're up to about 16 miles an hour today is what's going to be Oh, that's 
solid fish. Damn near a two pounder easily. Oh, yeah. yeah. Woo! change one trolley motor issues no battery i should say it's a battery issue so folks these things happen even on tournament days and unfortunately after all the work i've put into my boat a battery issue i couldn't believe it so this essentially shut us down at noon and we were totally on the schools i really do believe we would have upgraded from where we came where we were where, where we were at at that moment but at the end of the day yeah, this is part of the game and uh, you have to deal with it so we're changing batteries Taking the live scope on the back of the boat off that battery and uh, putting it for the trolling motor. So you don't have to say it. I'm, I'm going to get a new battery for the uh, trolling motor. <laughs> don't comment below. We already know that. <laughs> but uh, heavy winds are an issue for these two interstate batteries. So I'm going to try to replace them. I know that they got a year warranty on them. Um, hopefully I can do that before Grenada. But even if I don't, I could probably do it down in Grenada. It's a process, it's always an adventure on the lake. We've got good fish right now. We're probably where we're at yesterday, weight-wise. Definitely our average is better. We don't have that monster, monster fish, but we've got, I think, a couple, maybe two pounders. Yeah, he thinks, Wade thinks we're gonna be. All right, we just got done. We're about to go to the weigh-in. I don't know if I'll show the way in, but we're hoping for good things. We feel good about our number. At the end of the day, I think we feel good about our number. Uh, from everything we've heard, that it's really tough conditions today. But then again, we haven't really seen that many of the competitors, so they might have lit it up, and we just don't know. But we think that if we come in with something around 11 plus, that was a good second day, and we're confident. We feel good about it, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hey, so we just won the uh, Southern Illinois Crappie Association event. We are so ecstatic i can't ecstatic it's unbelievable we we're i mean you know you heard what we said going out there that we didn't know where we stood we thought maybe it would be uh second place but we ended up at first and uh, i'm going to show you the numbers here you can see them you know on the screen i'm sure i'm sure i'm showing you but we made a big comeback after date yesterday oh yeah yeah definitely a really good comeback uh i mean yesterday was a tough day for me haven't been fishing in a while and just trying to get used to tossing out these school fish and Matt was teaching me a few things which if you have a good partner that's that's what you do you, know, you, you gotta teach each other things and uh, using that 10 foot Ozark rod I mean great casting rod love it so probably the biggest difference between yesterday and today was definitely we were chasing smaller schools um, but the quality of fish was up so I, I would say that we didn't catch we still caught a decent amount of fish don't get me wrong but less than yesterday but the quality was unmistakably better without a doubt yeah without a doubt it was it's uh and we were both on our game today and he caught some he caught some big fish today and i said you're back <laughs> or, or you're learning whatever you want to say it but i can tell you this um we used jigs all weekend we caught one fish that was a keeper out of the 14 was caught on a minnow which is I've, I never imagined that's where we would go, especially on Lake of Egypt, because it's known as a minnow lake. I mean, we oh, yeah. we are minnow guys. We love fishing with minnows, um, but that's not what they were biting on. We tried minnows, and um, there uh, there are some extremely special colors from Jinko Fish, and I'll share with those in a, in the episodes earlier. But I will share with you those episodes here shortly, but I can tell you that, you know, you just have to find the right color. And I love Jinko Fishing's uh, baits because of the softness of the plastic and how long they last. And That's the jig heads, the slasher heads, they really hold on to the plastics. Uh, another another little tip I want to give you guys is uh, the time out on the water. I mean, I, I, I have been out for the past month and a half. I mean, and it's, it, it shows, it, it really does. You need to get out there and practice. Love crappie fishing, get out there and get on the lake as much as you can. Just make yourself a better fisherman. It's awesome. Yeah. So hey, thanks for watching this episode. We are we are totally this is like uh you know it's a local event and so it's not a it's not a grand event, but I can tell you that you know winning on my home lake is was very important and um these are great teams. These are legit teams. These are teams that are are, uh, are fishing the masters, the ACT, these are guys that are 
Uh, they know how to fish. They know how to fish. And so it is no joke. Um, so we're awesome. And, and so do we. So yeah. thanks, brother. I appreciate it.